Hi, and welcome to the Thinking Out Loud podcast, a show with meaningful conversations in English with non-native speakers. My name is Jendrek. My name is Masha. And we are two English teachers who... Who decided to take a break. But we actually are taking a break from recordings, but not from teaching. Uh, yeah. Wait, this is already complicated, Masha. Let's go step by step. What's happening, you know? What kind of break are you talking about? Break uh, TOL Unplugged goes on uh, summer holiday. This is still unclear. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Tell us in English, plain English. You know? <laughs> We take a break <laughs> from recording yes. the episode. Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. So your favorite show, people, your Thinking Out Loud <laughs> podcast is taking a one month break the whole you see? of August. It, you see, we, de we desperately need a break. <laughs> We need that. Yeah, exactly. Masha, Masha needs a break. Well, I oh, need yeah. a break too, honestly. <laughs> But, um, okay, so we take a break uh, with uh, new episodes of the Thinking Out Loud podcast. Yes. But, but it doesn't That's mean that we disappear thing. and that we are like uh, totally absent because... Because uh, unplugged? What is unplugged anyway? What is this? Well, you tell us. Exactly. You tell us. Well, it's like uh, the podcast only. Nobody is recording you. This is very so... important, people. Remember, <laughs> we are not recording because I know that there was there there were, there was some controversy or maybe uh, some misunderstanding around this word unplugged. You know, people probably uh, uh, MTV, MTV unplugged, unplugged. Again. exactly back you know, in the nineties. Using oh, cool yeah. show. I think it's yeah. still going on. I don't I mean, know. Don't uh, watch MTV some anymore. concerts unplugged. Well, I don't know. Is MTV still around? Sorry, you make know. me too old, you know? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Fine. But unplugged means that it's not plugged, which means that no one is recording, no one is using electricity. Well, that's we confusing, but these concerts are actually, they were recorded and you can watch them. But they're not using electronic. Uh, Uh, guitars no, you're right. just... by yeah and and masha by unplugged we simply meant that our mics are unplugged which isn't even true because oh my god this is so on. confusing yeah, okay like, oh my god <laughs> in a now, nutshell now... <laughs> these meetings will not be recorded <laughs> wait masha I, i i just you know i just uh discovered uh the reason why uh the first leg of our unplugged um wasn't so much popular Because, because of that nobody game, understands. And, you know, nobody understands <laughs> what what's the hell going, is on. going on. <laughs> yeah. And if you add to it, you know, this uh, a French high school final exam, some philosophical questions, you know, and you don't know whether you're a recorder or not. Oh my god, it's like, you know, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, without all right. Even... So people, but but now now is now is the time maybe since mm -hmm. uh, we've got people's attention to explain mm -hmm. to everybody. Uh, what's going to happen in August, Masha? First, uh, when and how uh, will uh, the project look like? So it's the two last weeks of August. Exactly. And people who like the podcast will just meet online and have cool conversations. What about, so it's almost you're like... going to find out later. But it's almost like uh, what's happening in on the show, only that people will gather on Zoom probably, and nobody will record you. You will just be having fun, drinking. We should wine have. Or we whatever. should have called it. We should have called it open days. You know, just sounds, open day sounds weird. Like you know, like uh, like you're going to your uh, whatever, Barico Marche, you know, <laughs> or something. I, okay, I would fine. really want the, the, the word wine in the name somehow, but I cannot come up with a good name which will include right. wine, but it will be very attractive, you know? All right. Okay, so uh, once again, on the 21st of August uh, and for the nine consecutive working days, so excluding weekend, 
the weekend, the last weekend of uh, August. We are going to meet, uh, let's say, uh, off the record, just us and you, uh, our listeners and participants, and we are going to practice English. That's why we meet, you know, and maybe with the view to participating one day in our show. Who knows? Some people yeah. may treat it like uh, like a boot camp. Yeah, but no pressure. But no pressure is is exactly is the key word. Yeah. Okay, so Good I words. think I think. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Okay, but I think I think <laughs> the I think most confusing things... episode. <laughs> yeah, sorry uh, for that, but you know, that's that's what happens when two people talk, you know, and 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 they try to explain something they have in mind to others. Okay, great. So uh, wait a second. Uh, thinking out loud um, um, disappears. I mean, new episodes, uh, I'll be, uh, of course, uh, inviting you to uh, listening to our uh, uh, previous episodes. Uh, some of them uh, were really great, and maybe some of you joined us only recently, so it may be a great time to revisit certain uh, older episodes. And um, we are back in September with new episodes, with new guests, and we are waiting for you of course, uh, to um, join us on the show, but that is in September. And uh, yeah. But you can it. join us. Uh, but you can August. also join us in August, but then we are not recording. All right. <laughs> yeah, if you want oh, to be on, recorded Marcia. only in September. If you don't want to be recorded and you don't want to talk directly with us, but with other very, very interesting people, welcome in August. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Uh, check out our website. Keep monitoring it. It's tolpodcast.com slash summer for the unplugged uh, series of meetups. Whew. Masha, there's a lot, uh, there's a lot uh, to explain. There's a lot to uh, clarify, but I hope that uh, we got our message. And people across. can always leave us a voicemail and ask whatever was unclear. Right? Yeah, people, come on, interact. You know, if you don't know whether we're recording or not, why don't you ask us? Are we recording? Oh, we are not. Or you know, okay, fine. So uh, this, I think, uh, this this summer that is ahead of us, uh, at least the second uh, summer month, is uh, clear. Uh, are we having over. some guests? Are we having yeah, some guests? Yeah, we're definitely uh, having a guest and a very, a very interesting conversation. All right, very interesting. And a very interesting type always. of English. What kind of English are you going to hear? Yeah, exactly. We are going to hear the French English, um, uh, lovely French English from Boris, uh, our special guest today. Um, I find, uh, I find it uh, uh, really cool. I mean, uh, the French uh, English. But at the same time, I, I think Boris is crashing it with uh, with sense, you know, and the meaning. So, like, language is only uh, like a secondary, you know, uh, thing. But it's always nice because so far, I think it's a storm coming, you know. <laughs> nice, <laughs> but uh, it's it's always uh, nice to hear different Englishes. So far, we only had a Central Eastern European. Um, Englishes plus, of course, uh, some people from the UK or from the United States. But uh, this time around, for the first time on the Thinking Out Loud podcast, we are going to have uh, um, French English, basically. So that's great. That's that's the added value to everything else that uh, you are going to hear. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, by the way, uh, I did say uh, a word about Boris. You know, who's Boris? Uh, Boris is a friend of mine. Uh, we know uh, each other from real life. Sorry, Marshall. Whatever I that is. Close the window, you know. No. Uh, it's like there's, I think there's hail. Wow. <laughs> I hope the kids are back from the swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> hail uh, and they are in the swimming pool. Yeah, I mean, you know, you don't want to have your back whipped by, <laughs> no, you don't. by the hail. All right. Great. 
great good and so um sorry i got distracted you know and and yeah boris is is a great person um with a very very interesting uh, life career and uh, everything else so uh masha without uh further, further ado <laughs> let's we give boris. you boris hi boris how are you doing hi enric uh, pretty fine uh, and you i'm good I'm good. Uh, Masha is uh, here with us. Uh, hi, Masha. Uh, hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, great. Uh, I've got a question, but to both of you, not not just to you, Boris, but uh, when was the last time you read a book from cover to cover? Uh, yeah, and 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 maybe maybe not. Sorry, maybe not from cover to cover. But when was the last time you were reading a text of a book by longer than one hour? Hmm. Yes, when you today. say cover to cover, it, it means uh, entire. Entire. You mean in one sitting? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. In one. No, I'm just you know because uh, I woke up today with this feeling that I can't concentrate for longer than. Uh, I don't want to kid you, but it's maybe 45 seconds, you know, reading a text. I have Boris, you know, this, uh, my favorite French weekly, Le 1, you know? Le 1, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm reading this and there are also uh, very interesting interviews. Uh, this issue from this week is about uh, des amours. I think they, they call it between uh, Morocco and France. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, you know, that's uh, what is happening. Uh, did you know that that uh, the English language is getting more and more popular in Morocco. Mm. Like it kind of replaces the French mm. language. It's quite interesting. Mm. You know, I, I didn't know, but I'm not, yeah, I'm not surprised, uh, that surprised because it's, it has begin, began maybe a few years ago, this little mm -hmm. desamour, as you said. But uh, yeah, it, it could be, yeah, it could be changed something there. Yeah, there are some, you know, that there was, you know, uh, anyway, I, I don't want to, uh, but I want to speak about reading. And, yeah. you know, I'm able to read maybe, like I said, 45 seconds of an interview. You know, interviews are easy to read. You have the question and the answer. You know? And then I know what, you know, I have to scan something. I have to take a picture. I have to uh, whatever, you know, I'm thinking like I'm totally distracted. Uh, yeah. So I, I my question to you is, are you the same? I mean, Masha and, and Boris? um what a fiction have you tried reading fiction yeah I mean, if it's, it's an interview and you <clears throat> ah, okay so so you say it's not that bad if it's just interview in a newspaper or, or a magazine no i mean maybe it's not that interesting no it is interesting i mean it is i mean i consider it interesting yeah the the but the, the problem is that i can't read text right now i don't know if it's due to uh you know uh i don't know using too much of my mobile or something technology but i can't and and, and reading honestly reading a, a book for like one hour now i think it would be awfully difficult for me <laughs> uh Bo boris the yeah. last time you 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 were reading a a longer yeah. text it was maybe less than one month ago and yeah to me it's it's like uh phase, phases you know because it's i think it's related with my work as you know i've changed a bit my activity and now yeah. it's more like i have you know a big things to deliver mm -hmm. and i work and so in this period uh it's it's hard yes to to find times you know to have a, a book but i have uh, if you see my yeah maybe i can show like, like this you know i have this you know right. this pile <laughs> of books i want to read uh but um uh yeah when i have time yeah i i, I manage because i have yeah books i i li i like to read but uh, yeah also if you accept this period it's i, I know mm, yeah what you think because you know with the instagram tiktok maybe uh yeah. times you know we are living i mean uh, yeah i think we are um, focus attentions the 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 the, the, the slot the time frame I don't know what I'd say, mm. uh, has been reduced, I'm sure. Uh, and 
it's it's yeah it's a, it could be a problem yes of course yeah, yeah but i could i could show you my pile of books you know it's growing and growing <laughs> because you know it's uh, i already yeah. have really a lot of a lot of books to read and uh, yeah. somehow i'm not even you know i'm not even touching them because uh I know that uh, I, I have no time. I have no time. But when I look at my day, I mean, I have plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's especially now during the summer. You know, it's it's uh, you know, I'm I'm not uh, super busy. And Masha, uh, w your experience with with reading longer texts. When was the last time? Well, I don't get any distraction. When you talk about social media, and you get probably these notifications, and you it's not even notifications because I have I have them silenced, you know. So uh, it's me, kind of, uh, I don't know just checking the phone. Uh, of course, when I read in French, I'm checking some vocabulary items, right? Or mm -hmm. or not even checking because. Um, Today in the morning, I met another. Each time I I read in French, I I I find some chunks, you know, of language, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and even I know exactly from the text what it what it, what it means. Like today in the morning, I met uh, there is a, a French Moroccan writer who who was writing about the uh, Boris the game between France and Morocco in mm -hmm. the last World Cup, and mm -hmm. uh, she's she's writing. You know, she was writing that she had mixed feelings watching this because she uh, she came to France at the age of 18 you know and she's half French half Moroccan now mm -hmm. and she she said she had mixed feelings and uh the phrase in French is uh, wait a second je des sentiments uh, no. no it's mele, mele, no, not mele, no uh oh my goodness I gotta check this you know I'll, I'll show you in a second I'll tell you in a second you know Gonna find it. Mm. Uh, she said, uh, "Well, j'avais des sentiments mêlés." Mêlés. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. I'm not correct. <laughs> but mêlé, you know, you can. Uh, you, I don't know if you look at the the rugby games, you know, but mm -hmm. uh, from the time good to time. World, from time to time, yeah. The I think it's the the scrum in in English when you yeah. know uh, to reintroduce the game. There yeah. is a, a phase there are, you have maybe almost all the team who are facing yeah. like that, you know, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. think it's scrum. And uh, the, yeah, it's, we, use the two, we use this word in French, mêlée, la mêlée. And uh, it means because that... It's, uh, but it's not, it doesn't mean mixed, like, you know, like like you mix. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's, oh, like also the, it's, it's like mélanger, yeah. It, it also for the her. You can say that uh, your air, uh, your air are milli. Yeah, also. Oh, okay, okay, right. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> but anyway, you know. So I I encountered this phrase and immediately, you know, okay, I'm going to uh, save it in my Quizlet uh, because I know I'm creating these Quizlet sets with mm -hmm. phrases which I never revisit, <laughs> by the way. But good inspiration but, for yeah. your students. Yeah, but you the, never the thing... revisit uh, Quizlet sets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I'm, you know, there's all, but, but Masha, I keep, you know, they are really valuable sets, you know, I've got, uh, you know, I my know set is like, I don't know, 300 something items. No, but I'm, I'm building sets of 50 items and I have oh, uh, a oh. lot of such sets, maybe yeah, 40 good. or, or around 50 such sets, you know, so it's a lot of, uh, really, really nice language I found, you know, in my uh, journey with French. Mm -hmm. But guys, it's not the point. The point is that uh, the point is that you know I always find a pretext to quit reading and do something. You know, especially with um, I, I think my phone or or something. You know. Well, now I'm thinking so, about it. I think maybe you're right. Although in my case, it's not. Um, you know, I still can read for like right now. I'm reading this book you recommended, the the anomaly. It's starting oh, okay, to great, great. disappoint me. I hope the ending will be something, you know, something. But I Boris, did you read this like... book? Uh, it's mm -hmm. anomaly. It's called uh, anomaly. It was uh, it no. was uh, a French uh, Goncourt Prize uh, ah. no, from no from no, no. two or three years ago. All right, but well, it's a great book. In, I mean, uh, I, I had think all the yesterday fun I read for like a couple of hours. You know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Awesome. All right. 
Yeah. So uh, my hand goes fiction, off. You know, yeah. It's fiction, you know. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. You're right. Maybe fiction is is, is a bit different. All and, right. But I just yeah, wanted yeah, to share. Huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, just to add something because I, I noticed to me, uh, the only when I read the the only time I I, I managed to read uh, from a long time it's when you know it's all everything is okay. It means it's like a routine, you know. So it's always uh, at night, you know. Maybe after 10 p.m. with my little tisane, you know, uh, mm -hmm. my daughter is uh, at at um, at the bed, and uh, you know, maybe it's because I don't know, it's like a routine, you know. If you yeah. begin to read in the middle of the day with all you have to do, uh, it will be more. No, you're right. Maybe. Yeah, it's actually even weird for me, you know, when I find the time during the day and I even feel guilty, you know, well, I could be <laughs> doing this and that. And as instead of this, I'm sitting and reading, especially if it's fiction, you know, if it's something ah, about right. teaching or, you know, whatever, nonfiction, I think, okay, I'm kind of doing something for my whatever brain. But if you're reading fiction in the middle of the day, it's like like a sin you know <laughs> but uh, yeah, you're uh, before, right. I, I, before you're right, you're right. bed it's actually interesting i have no idea how long i read because i i read um i have an e-reader and this e-reader is quite big it's the biggest there is and uh, it's in this case you know it's it's a hard case mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i can sorry for the details i'm just simply lying on my side and this thing i arrange uh, in a way that i don't have to hold it Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. fantastic. I don't have to hold it. Of course, I fall asleep very quickly. And somebody always comes from my family. They know that they need to come and check if uh, it's okay to take this book away. Sometimes I'm like, no, 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 I'm reading. You know, I, nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you're not. Just go. To <laughs> so I don't know how long I manage. Well, 20 minutes, definitely. <laughs> well, I have to work That's on why, that kind uh... of that's why you managed to to read a long, long time. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> oh, no, you have to. Yeah, you fall asleep. <laughs> I was reading the whole night. <laughs> yeah. ten, ten hours. Yeah, and they forget a, there, to. Let's say there, there's a there's an automatic automatic a uh, page turner, you know, so that you know the pages turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so one, you know, speaking about reading and so on. So uh, sorry, this is not the 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 main uh question of uh, our meeting uh, uh but uh uh has any one of you tried audiobooks yeah listening to to uh books that are read by some voice mm. uh not for me but for my daughter uh oh, right. we, i already uh, i i use it yeah for for her but for me not yet all right all right, Masha, you you said yes, and uh, so uh, you I even to you know audiobook. I even make myself uh, from time to time to listen to a book uh, in 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 English, yeah. because it so happened that I learned English mostly from reading, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know some time ago before even I started teaching, I realized that I mispronounced a lot of words because you know English spelling you read and you think mm. this is how the word is pronounced mm. and then i uh, realized that i you know mispronounced many words and i started listening to books and it's like wow 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 <laughs> so there was a whole new world for me you know so yeah i um even so you but know, you treat it like 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 uh learning or no 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 it's just or maybe I started doing it when I decided to walk. I, I used to work for a school and it was a 45 minute walk from my home. So mm -hmm. one day I decided, why not, you know, walk? And when you walk, mm -hmm. you need to listen to something. It was probably yeah, yeah, yeah. pre-podcast uh, uh, time era. for me. Yeah, yeah, era. And I just listened to books. It was fun. All right. All right. Fine. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, to, just to add something, it could be very interesting maybe to to memorize things because we, when we were in holidays, you know, we every every day at night we, you know, um, display a little story, you know, uh, to to my daughter, and uh, it's five seven minutes long, you know, and at the end of the week she was uh, she was mm -hmm. able to, you know, to just. Uh, 
quote the whole story. Yeah. And uh, um, and maybe it was because it's at this particular time, you know. Uh, sorry, sorry, Boris, uh, that was yeah. in French or in English? In French, in French. All right, all right. Um, and and I was thinking that maybe it's because of this particular time, just before the just before the falling asleep, because mm -hmm. uh, I have I've read the, that you know our brain like uh, generates waves, you know, uh, mm -hmm. and these waves, you know, is depends the frequency of this wave depends of the the conscious uh, states we have, you know. For example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, at now it's maybe it's called I, there is a classification there is. A, a, a real scientific, you know, uh, classification of that, and they said that just before to fall in asleep, or even fall in asleep the first 20, 30 minutes, the the waves that we are our brain generates, it's like it's it's like hypnosis. It's the same state of consciousness that that hypnosis, you know, and uh, and it's that's why. I, I, when it's possible, and in the car, you know, when you are driving and you're listening the the radio, the, you know, when there is the advertisements, there are. I think there are more, uh, you know, um, uh, how to say? Yeah, uh, they they are more. Uh, yeah, I don't have the English word that they are. They are enter into your life, you know, the advertising. Yeah, but uh, you know that they are always playing louder uh, than yeah, you yeah, know, the program yeah. or or. And yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think the, the the advertising in the in your car when you're driving is the worst because they also show that when you drive, uh, you have you know like mm, the always this same state of consciousness that you are. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you drive from po point A to point B, but you, you don't really clearly remember every every step you know of your yeah, trip. Yeah. And, Not uh... for me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm learning must... to drive. <laughs> Yeah, it's, no, it's time, a good thing for you. Must have time for a little update uh, on your situation, what's happening. I mean, how is the course going, and and when 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 is the next exam? I don't know when, but my new instructor last feedback he says you need to relax. You know, you need to kind of uh, you're so uptight, and I'm like. What are you talking about? Relaxing? How is it even possible? Of course, I'm alert. I need to, you know, register so many things. And I always sit like this. And he's, you need to lean back. And I'm like, no. Ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so no, you're okay. You totally, can... I totally don't understand what you're talking about. Hypnosis yeah. and the driving. <laughs> <laughs> so it's okay for you for the advertising. There is no issue. It won't enter into yeah. your brain no. without no. your... You know, willing. I'm safe. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so I think yeah, maybe uh, in the uh, teaching purpose, maybe audio books are better or have something hard to 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 bring that uh, simple reading. Maybe. All right, all right, uh, great. Uh, before moving on to uh, the thinking out loud proper. Uh, I would just like to ask you, uh, Boris, one personal question, you know, make an exception from the rule. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Uh, how many times, Boris, how many times uh, did you uh, approach the driving license exam uh, before you passed? It? Oh, OK. So you have I don't know. Uh, in France, I, it's uh, uh, I, it's in your country. But uh, uh, in France, they, they are divided, you know, the um, like we could say the academic, the theoretical, yeah, the theoretical yeah. part, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think it's pretty and much... the driving, uh, uh, the same. Yeah. Well, so the, for the driving, I, I had at uh, the first time. Uh, oh wow! Uh, for the uh, after my eighteen years, so. but uh, the the theoretical, I have missed it uh, uh, one time, so I, I reached it at the second times. And uh, the funny story is that the first time. The guys like is is missed. Uh, I mean, he said, "Okay, it's okay. You you have it." And just few seconds after, he said, "Oh, oh, oh no, 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 sorry. Uh, it's it's the it's this guy who have it. You you have failed." <laughs> I was like, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> but uh, and and you can I can I ask you for you, uh, Jan Brek? Yeah, I As... passed the theoretical part in uh, the first attempt. Uh, nice. but uh, I think you could make three mistakes in the test, and I and made two. two. Wow! Yeah, it's... but we had I think we had three three, and you are out. And but I had two mistakes, and the guy said you are lucky. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, <laughs> like 
he was trying to you know to condemn you know this you know having uh, <laughs> made two mistakes but then i was uh, i was uh, trying seven times before i got my uh, driving license and masha i need to tell you that for the seventh time when i was uh, you know uh, taking up this this uh, exam i was kind of already relaxed you know because like i didn't care like anymore. okay seven you know, eight yeah matter. yeah <laughs> And, you know, and, and I remember that it helped me a lot because I was relaxed and I wasn't like, you know, sitting behind the steering wheel, like, you know, but I was just relaxed. And when there was a red light, I would uh, just stop and, and <laughs> um, what is the, uh, Masha, the, uh, the name in English for, for the gear that is not on when it's in the position of neutral, neutral. Yeah. Neutral is it neutral. Yeah. Yeah, so I was basically, you know, when when there was like a red light, or I was in a traffic uh, uh, jam or something, you know, I would just put this neutral gear, and you know, I seemed relaxed, like okay, you know. Then they move, I start, you know, the the first gear, you know, and then I go, and I think it made this instructor, or sorry, this examiner, kind of feeling, ah, oh, this guy knows what he's doing, you know. <laughs> and I was checking the mirrors all the time. And I was checking the mirrors so that you know I know what's the situation all around the car. And yeah. I think I finally convinced, uh, uh, even was though it the I, same I, was it the same examiner every time. No, no, it, it, no. I think they were different. But <laughs> but uh, I think you know it convinced my examiner, the final one, yeah. because I broke the speed limit once. You know, it was fifty, and I was driving like around Ooh. sixty. You know, oh, <laughs> yeah, it was in the city. You know, but you, right. you have the right things. You 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 don't have to to look the mirror. You have to show that you're looking the mirror. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the exactly. thing. Exactly. That's the exactly. thing with exams. Yeah, maybe when yeah. I'm driving, um, I hope my I hope no police officers listen to this. But sometimes I drive my family <laughs> car without the license because I, you know, well, with of course with my husband in the car, and I'm not worried because I know that there is no exam. But when it's a test, you have to watch for very, you know, these little things. Yeah, yeah. I, I already, uh, I don't even remember because I already had a driving license when I was, I was not even 18. I was uh, two months before I turned 18. I passed this exam, like first attempt, nailed it, you know. And I don't remember and now, Boris, anything. The, the thing is that, Masha, you are changing uh, yeah, from... Yeah, I need to change uh, from another to, to Ukrainian. Yeah. Yeah, from from Russian to uh, Ukrainian certification, I think you know it's. Uh, the, but the of... but the problem is that I really lost the skill. I mean, I didn't drive for a long time because I didn't need right. to because I have a yeah, yeah. professional driver and driver. All right, efficient. I would say not professional. All right. By the way, right. guys, but this is professional. Oh, that's a good question. You know. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But um, okay. So uh, sorry, we have to like. Uh, put a full stop to everything that we said you know and uh and let's go maybe to the question of uh the problem of the day let's call or, or or the problem of the episode of uh this um episode of the thinking out loud podcast uh masha would you be so kind and ask boris yes. our mm. beautiful question boris get ready <laughs> Uh, you yeah. need to try uh, tell your brain to generate uh, this sort of uh, waves, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or what is yeah. it? Waves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah waves. Uh, but yeah. you can't oh. tell your brain, Boris, can you? Yeah. I mean, oh, it's probably just not. Because you, you, you can't so tell your brain. You can't tell your brain now generate this kind of wave length or. Length. Yeah, not your your um, in conscience, but you. I you. I think you can. From people who are uh, trained, they can switch from a state to another. The uh, Buddhist monks that... or something. They, I'm sure they yeah. can do it. Yeah. And when you meditate, for example, you, without knowing, you know, conscience, consciously, you, you are changing your, your state when you are doing meditation, for example. I okay. need to start doing this uh, because I'm using like 1% of my potential right now, you know, because I'm so distracted, you know, like I don't want to say what. Okay, uh, let's go with the question of the day. The question of the day. Is what is the difference between good condition and good quality? Wow. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, Boris? You know, you, good um... condition and good quality. So uh, maybe yeah. I, uh, I need a few explanations of the question to. Well, the well car, understand. for example, the car. Yeah, Yendrik. No? It's in good condition. Let's say you buy a five year old car, okay? And five? you say, 
let's say you 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 know you buy a, a used car, you know, yeah, second hand, yeah. uh, yeah, and you yeah. know it's a five year old, and uh, you say it's in good condition, you know. Usually in 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 the ad, you know, it's in good condition, you know. Oh, yeah. And then on the other side, we have this concept of quality, good quality. And do you think that if something is in good condition, it is automatically of good quality, or maybe not? Uh, what is the the difference between uh, basically condition and quality, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So let me think about this. But I think, yeah, mm. yeah. I think to from what I understand of the question, good uh, good quality is maybe that the initial um, like initial potential of the object, mm -hmm. you know. It means that uh, uh, you have an object or whatever it is, and it means that maybe the the row uh, that's been used for it, the materials uh, have been you know well chosen. Uh, they are quality uh, yeah. row. Maybe the it's the wood. It's a good row. Uh, a good mm -hmm. wood. Sorry. Uh, so to me, quality it would be that it it would be it would be referring to the to the way of of doing it maybe if it's a uh, so 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 boris uh, if you let's say buy these shoes your good quality shoes and after let's say two years of walking these shoes yeah. are they still good quality uh or i mean i mean uh, yeah. the question is what is changing the condition of the shoes or yeah. the quality of the shoes what is uh what is changing yeah, the quality is is yeah is not supposed to change because to me it's the mm -hmm. initial potential of the object and the good mm -hmm. condition uh, will maybe um, referring to how it has been uh, used, how it mm -hmm. has been. Uh, uh, I don't want to say the, I don't find the English word, but um, maintained maybe uh, maintain yeah maintain yeah. and you can uh, for sure have good quality objects in a very poor condition after two years if it has not been uh, maintained in the good you know uh, uh, properly how, how the, the the maker said you have to take care of this project mm -hmm. in that way mm -hmm. uh, even with the best quality uh, cars uh, if you don't uh, if you're not doing the you know the the oil that you have all the maintenance you can have a mercedes yeah, after three years it will be a, a garbage you know uh, so <laughs> I think is that the the condition is up to you. The good to oh. to have an object in good condition after time after the the the, the time is is uh, spending. It's up to you, uh, mm -hmm. and the good quality. Uh, it's also up to you by choosing. But you 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 have it like you know an initial you know uh, potential, uh, and it's up to you to to keep that potential maybe uh, in the time you know. All right. So, so uh, quality, if I understand, um, quality doesn't change over time. It's just given once at the big. I mean, <clears throat> the quality is given uh, by the producer during yeah. the production, right? Because this is where you put this potential, like you said, because of the yeah, materials, yeah. because of you know the the work, and then yeah. uh, quality doesn't change. It's simply you know high quality shoes or high quality car is yeah. is. High quality shoes, high quality car, even if yeah. time uh, passes. Yeah, yeah. I uh, to 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 me, yeah. It's more it's more like that, yeah. Uh, and yeah, you you can have good quality uh, shoes, but in yeah in also bad condition if the it's ten or fifteen years, you know. But mm -hmm. yeah, to me, quality refers to that. You you won't say that uh, that shoes are not. Uh, poor quality. You will say just that. Uh, okay, that shoes are old, you know. But it's a good quality. Uh, it's a good quality brand, you know. It's it's nice. But yeah, I have used it by now fifteen years. So yeah, it's. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Is it possible to that. assess quality? You know, when you when the thing has only just been produced. I mean, do you think maybe you need time to assess quality? Uh, so yeah, I know from a, a industrial engineering point of view, there is a very uh, uh, how to say a, a detailed method, you know, to assess quality. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, you can 
you can do statistical uh, picking. You know, for example, if you're producing goods, whatever it is, uh, and you're producing at the I don't know in English, you know, in in, a, in the production line, you know, you have a lot of uh, goods you are delivering. Mm -hmm. And if you want to assess quality, what is used in industry is that you're picking some products. Uh, it's uh, sampling. Yeah, we call that sampling. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you have uh, 40, uh, 40,000 products, uh, you will say, okay, I pick maybe 200 and uh, you will count all the, the little uh, default, the little yeah, uh, default yeah. Um, yeah. Quality, is, uh, quality incidents. Um, yeah, some some. Uh, I'm thinking uh, damages or yeah, yeah. And and there is <clears throat> all the rules like this. You know, you for example, you classify. You have minor uh, quality incidents, uh, uh, major and critical, for example. And you will count mm -hmm. every you know every kind of. Uh, if maybe you have three uh, minor uh, quality incidents, uh, 10 uh, critical, or I don't know. And you have like, a, you know, a table and it, they'd say, okay, if you want that quality, you don't have, you should not have more than, for example. But, but, <clears throat> wait a second, yeah. Boris, this is interesting, Boris, but, but uh, of course, uh, thinking of <laughs> you, I, I think immediately of uh, cosmetics, you know, because you, you spend some time uh, yeah, cosmetics, in, but in, it works in all the industry, even in yeah, car yeah, and but, everything. Yeah, but 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 let's let's uh, let's uh, illustrate this. Uh, so you pick these samples, okay, from the yeah. from the yeah. assembly line, yeah. and uh, let's say that uh, one item um, had damaged, let's say, uh, packaging. Yeah. Is that a problem of quality, or is it just the condition of of uh, the product that is bad? It's 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 a quality yeah it's a quality issue yeah it's not uh, -huh. uh it's not for uh, yeah it's a quality issue because you let's say that you know that I can't open the uh, the shampoo you know <laughs> yeah whatever, yeah you know? yeah yeah we so it's a quality it, issue it's a quality issue yeah in uh, at mm -hmm. least in the, what we call it in the in the industry said there is a quality issue because it means that somebody in the supply chain didn't respect the uh, I don't know in, in English the term, but the, yeah, the, what he has to do. You know, say. with cosmetics, it's another, it's a totally, it's a, I'm, oh my God, I'm opening this box right now. But let's say the product is good quality in terms of, you know, you've used the best materials you for, for to, to yeah. produce this cream, let's say, yeah? Yeah. But unfortunately, uh, on me personally, it doesn't do the job, you know, so... Yeah, I mean, I still have uh, one hundred percent of wrinkles after using it for three months. You yeah. know, so it didn't yeah, yeah, deliver yeah. the promise. Is it good quality? <laughs> mm, yeah, it's an interesting question, but it, we have to say that to me, when we referring to good quality, we referring like you know, like uh, for the society in in this, uh, globally, you know, for all the people. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to me, good quality, it will be that, you know, but uh, of course, uh, for you, uh, you, yeah. To because me, with, you can shoes, say... with shoes, it's different. You buy shoes, they are good quality. It means they will last forever. I mean, yeah. with proper maintenance. Yeah. But, but what if this, your, you but buy this your cream... feet are much of irregular shape and, you know, they will always, the shoes will always uh, hurt uh, your feet, you know? So can you say they are good quality? But it's, yeah, it's not... irregular feet, it's a different thing. Cosmetics, it's, you know, it's, uh, you look at advertising and they say 70% yeah. of wrinkles will go away in three months. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's because <laughs> my face is irregular. It's just that, well, yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. to hurt anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but the claim, but this claim, seventy percent is based on something, right? Uh, unless they just, yeah, uh, you it's know, based took it on from... you know, you, you when I whenever mm. I order something uh, on makeup com UA, you know, I I see reviews of women women uh, leave, and it sounds like this. I notice that after using this product, my skin looks. Better. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's very That's... scientific, you know. 
it's exactly Sorry. that you know the, the, we called it claiming you know they mm -hmm. they they so it's it's funny because it seems to be like i don't know scientific and you know like serious at but it's uh, from a juridical point of view uh, uh it's 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 uh, serious but it's exactly what you said they they use a sentence with in france the, the skin is like is like to be uh uh, votre peau est comme regénérée in French. They said that it's your skin is like re regenerated, uh, but it's there is the word like, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, and even the, the review, you know, it's like a community. They, uh, you know, the people who are testing and said, uh, yeah, it's it work on uh, uh, say 55% of women, for example. These people, they are testing. It's like a, a community, you know, and they are re rewarding. And you know, it's um, it's not, uh, you know, really. I don't know. Objective. And you know, objective. if you pay, I don't know, two hundred dollars for uh, for a jar of uh, cream, I mean, of course it will work. I mean, you will yeah. see. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah. for for your question, you know, it's uh, it doesn't work. But is this still a good quality? Could it be? Could it be uh, a good quality uh, product? Because uh, there is lavender, bio, uh, organic lavender, for example. Because there is not too much, uh, you know, uh, uh, synthetic uh, chemical product. Could it be? Uh, Good quality buys this way, but maybe it has been uh, the the sticker has been you know uh, pasted with uh, hands, and maybe is a disabled person who do that you know with cares and everything, but it, it doesn't work because because uh, all all this thing is a, a little lie. I'm sorry of the word you know, uh, but uh, you know you know wow, it is that possible is, uh, that yeah I... <laughs> so the quality of the product you buy products for for a specific purpose it needs to yeah. do the job yes no right. matter how good it is i mean if a car let's say great i don't know fantastic mercedes car but it cannot i mean mm. it's uh, made of gold you know <laughs> you cannot drive it <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah I know. But... <clears throat> It's very interesting, you know, uh, I, I see, uh, you know, another uh, leg uh, to this conversation, but but <clears throat> I want to open a different Pandora box. And uh, because uh, so far we know that quality gets inside the product during the production. And then mm -hmm. it pretty much doesn't change. What changes is the condition. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you drive your Mercedes and you hit a tree and the car is totally crashed, what changed is the condition of the car, not the quality. This yeah. is still a good Mercedes in terms of, you know, the uh, material used and so on, you know, nice mm -hmm. leather uh, seats yes. and so on. But but what about, Boris, what about food? Every one of us has an mm. old yogurt in their fridge. And what happened mm. to this yogurt? Did the quality of the yogurt, the old uh, or, or uh, past the best before date, did the quality change or did the condition of the yogurt change? Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it, yeah, maybe some products, the, the, the quality uh, will change uh, in the time. Yeah. Because I think, you know, because, because in terms of food, when we talk about food, the taste changes. You know, it's no longer mm -hmm. the yogurt mm -hmm. that you bought, you know, two weeks ago. It's, you know, the, the taste is different and it's maybe even dangerous for your health, you know. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I think when we talk about food, the quality changes. I mean, uh, gets no, lower. No, I don't right? think the quality well, changes. You know, when you, the food is, uh, let's say, a banana, you know. Mm -hmm. We say it's the best quality when it's um, ripe. Yeah, when it's yellow. And it's true brown. for... <laughs> We can argue about this. And not green, you know. <laughs> no, yellow is not the best quality. When you have brown spots, this is the best. But whatever. Right, I mean, right. whatever they... And it will only... Uh, they, let's say the manufacturer or farmer can guarantee good quality during only for this period yeah. of time. That's it. Yeah. Let's say when it, it gets that... ripe, five, I don't know, hours or what, two days from that, and that's and... it. The quality... 
-hmm. I think it's interesting because, yeah, the, as you said, the producer, he guaranteed the way of doing it. Maybe he respect that, you know, all the production line were uh, clean, that the, the milk, he was sterilized for the yogurt, mm -hmm. you know, he, he can guarantee a lot of things. So that's why we, we said that it's a quality product. But from the time that you are buying it, you know, it's up to you, you know, to, to eat it in, in the good condition. But we can mm -hmm. still think, I think, we can still say, I think that, yeah, good quality won't change, you know. It's just that sometimes in your life, maybe it's better to, to eat a, a, a poor quality product, but in good conditions than a, a very good quality in, in, in bad condition. Um... And there is a warranty, you know, that comes with the product. And for food, it's, I mean, there is, there is no, but it's before, implied. It's there's always implied. this best before yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. And the manufacturer will always say, we guarantee this and this and this quality, provided that, you know, you do this and this and that. Because if you hit a tree, sorry. But it <laughs> should actually uh, be the same with cars and other uh, yeah. objects, you know, because nothing is uh, immortal. Like, you know, time... I think uh, when we talk about physical objects, not uh, you know music or 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 poems, but I think time is destroying everything and destroying the quality of everything or the condition. No, the quality. No condition. Boris, uh, think about buildings. Think th think about houses. The time is eating each and every house, mm. you know, and so it's it's uh, uh, diminishing its quality because the quality of the house. So no, the condition. No, the, the condition. condition. Oh, Christ. So what is the quality of the house? It's the initial potential it's the to design last or... in the time, you know? <clears throat> With a, 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 a middle quality, uh, it, it, it changed the, the, the potential to, 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 to last. To withstand uh, the time. And the time yes. that you're, yeah. To stand in the time. That's, uh, yeah, that's your saying. Uh, it's uh, with a good quality house, but it will last, it will resist better time maybe ah, then, okay uh, but but okay boris but 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 it will not uh you know uh, be there forever right because it's yeah, uh, probably not. yeah of course and, and of course and, and on top of that if you don't maintain the house it will become a ruin in uh you yeah. know in, in some period of time yeah. yes but um uh, Oh, it's interesting. So this quality, uh, and and the qual the quality is simply uh, it doesn't change. It's just the condition of the house that will change. Yeah, I would say. I would say it no. will be stone always. It will be always stone, always yeah. good, good quality woods. You know, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. and yeah. But All right, very. It is this concept of of quality is is uh, very very interesting. You know, it's like. But, uh, so what is uh, Boris? One one more abstract question. What is the source of quality? Uh, how do you make uh, high quality stuff, uh, whether yeah. it's physical or or intellectual? Yeah, I think it's a the may you yeah raise a really 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 important question because to maybe to define well quality uh, and and even condition we need to 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 like define uh, aim. Or maybe you know what's for, and it will be different from people because mm -hmm. uh, for an object we don't have the same you know uh, uh, weightings. I don't know if in English we say that. You can have weightings. Expectations. Expectation. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, we we don't have the same expectation from the same. Sorry, project. Boris, what is what is the underlying French word? Uh, to have des attentes. Avoir des attentes. Ah, there's a tone. Yeah, exactly. I know this ah, word. Entendez. Ah, you see? Ah, interesting, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. but expectation is the best. Uh, Sorry, but you wouldn't that. use exigence or something like this? Yeah, exigence, it could be. All right. Uh, All right but fine. You, you can also attend because you, yeah, you expect that and it's like waiting you waiting that yeah, great happens. great i love i love that you know uh <laughs> deciphering the calc you know where does it come from great sorry uh, i yeah. i uh i interrupted you yeah so i, I you know for example i i, I work a long time ago in the uh, avian bottle industry you know and uh we have a special line for japan japanese people just for them 
and uh, all the the other country will just like insulting the bottle with air, you know, to mm -hmm. to clean all the dust that you can have, you know, before uh, filling the bottle. Water. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, Japanese people they ask, you know, that we clean the bottle before with the Evian Evian water, you know. <laughs> like we, we yeah we clean the bot wow. the bottle the the empty bottle we which is new you know because you just have you just want uh, you you just have created you know and they want uh, us to to clean with water avian water and then throw that water and then clean uh Put the proper in, you know and right. yeah so just uh, it's an example but it's in industry but it's also of of course uh in life you know uh, when and you you may you know you have I have that with my with my wife you know from products from the kitchen for example when we built the house you know uh, we are you know the colors for example I said okay the colors you can choose be honest uh, uh, but for example the washing machine I want it you know uh, I don't care about the brand you know uh, but I want it you know like um, upper upper to the floor that uh, it mm -hmm. that we have you know uh, normally so it's like you know just like that in front of you mm -hmm. you don't have to to go down to to go in the washing machine and also yeah. it's it, it just uh, um, under the the shelter of all the plates and everything you know uh, anyway uh, it's like you know uh, yeah Maybe what are the expectation expectation from the product and to assess quality? What are the the indicator? And it won't be the same, uh, I'm sure, from you than another person. So maybe yeah, you you raise some. Washing, I think you know. At the end of the day, you still wanted to wash your clothes. It doesn't matter. I mean, if it's at your eye level or not, but you wanted to clothe to wash your clothes. Yeah. that's the expectation. Yeah, but I, I, um, yeah, yeah. But when you you design the, you know, the kitchen, I was for the plate and the, yeah, the the plate and the, the glass. Eh? It's not for the clothes. Um, uh, so but, it's a uh, dishwasher. Dish okay. The dishwasher dish machine. Sorry. Uh, I mean, uh, it's an example of expectation that it, it differs, you know, from me and my wife. You know, she wanted that brand maybe or. Uh, I don't know. And me. Ah, of course. Yeah. I want a pink yeah. laptop, and my husband wants it to be this and this and that. And I just want it to be pink. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I see That's... expectations. So, yeah. I don't know if it's a but good wait, wait, example. Wait, wait. I mean, I mean yeah. uh, sorry, but, but, but the color uh, is just an attribute. It doesn't count as quality, does it? Uh, no. <laughs> it does. It doesn't. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> of course. Boris, does color count as quality, or is it just an attribute? Because you can repaint it, or I don't know. Yeah, uh, I don't know. But uh, for example, if, if you know what they do with the um, the ham, you know, you mm -hmm. know the ham uh, mm -hmm. in 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 the supermarket, and uh, mm -hmm. they they add color on it. Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. gray, and they as they add you know pink, pink mm -hmm. uh, you know. Yeah, so it looks like fresh meat, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if it's. A true uh, quality uh, indicator, but for in the people minds, you know, it can. Ah, great! It can, it can affect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can. It can kind of. But you know, in the case of the ham, I think you know you have some. Uh, it's different than the color of the laptop, you know, because I think that the color of the laptop is totally accidental. Yeah. I mean, it can be blue, it can be you know pink or 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 uh, black. But uh, if you think about food, uh, certain colors indicate the taste, or they have some. We have some associations, right? No, but, but color uh, of uh, things like laptop, it also matters. I mean, if you design a room, and it's something you will look at every day, no, it matters. Also, Many people would quality. choose this. Um, Maybe quality your, your of quality the product of overall. For example, though. at the at the beginning, you talked about packaging. You know, something was wrong with the packaging. It's not with the product itself, with the packaging, but it's still quality of the product. Hmm. You know. Yeah, but but uh, I just wanted to say that. Uh, um, 
And again, expectations depends well, look on at, what but, you but, wanted but you know, for. It, it leads, but it leads to some crazy place, you know, uh, intellectually, because uh, we uh, we have late, for example, uh, which fruit is of higher quality, the organic fruit, bio, you know, from from I don't know from the tree that wasn't uh, you know uh, sprayed with pesticides, or uh, the beautiful apple. That looks like like a perfect apple, you know, uh, perfect shape and shiny and everything, but it was injected with you know a lot of a lot of uh, various stuff. And now, which apple is of better quality? But apple is designed this ugly for one, eating. This ugly, eating. irregular. What? So you take into account the thing you will consume with this apple, you know, like pesticides and other stuff. But the but um um. I don't know. But this, they are on the shelf. These both. curtains, these curtains are designed for what? Uh, no, to uh... <laughs> feed you. <laughs> okay, let me come. Uh, I need a different. Let, let's say uh, a memento, some silly stuff you buy uh, on holiday. Does it have any purpose? Like purpose, you know, to not to let the sun into your home or to wash your plates. It has no other purpose, only to, I don't know what even, to remind you of something or to make you look, to make you feel nice when you look at it. So what is the quality? How would you define the quality? No, I mean, everything has quality. I mean, you talk about what, uh, because I didn't get it, like buying, for example, on your holidays, buying a hat or something. No, hat from... has uh, some purpose, but I'm talking about totally useless stuff, you know, like. There is no useless stuff. Okay, magnet on the fridge. All right, magnet on the fridge. Okay, great, great. <laughs> Saying Barcelona or something. Yeah, yeah. I have uh, plenty. I have plenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are a maniac, maniac of the magnets. <laughs> All right. But um, no, you know, the quality of this magnet is how long it there will. There is quality. Know, the yeah. magnet will stick to this thing itself. Or how, how strong is the magnet? Because yeah. sometimes, you know, you buy magnets and they hardly even, you know, uh, they they can't keep a, a sheet of paper, you know, if you want to attach it to your fridge or something. But how yeah. nice it looks! I mean, it includes the colors as well. Now, much design the is not part of... of quality. The design, the 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 aesthetic aspect is not part of quality. That is my <laughs> opinion. You can have great quality shoes that look ugly, but they are great quality Italian, you know. Um, whatever materials you know, leather and everything. But, it reminds yeah, like, me when I choose shoes, you know, with my husband. He's like, <laughs> maybe these. I'm like, no way. But these are really good quality. No way. <laughs> but Yandrek, uh, look at this example. I I imagine you you're living in Greece, All okay, right. and you build your house. Yes. There is two houses, and there is one who is right, like every other house, because because it's reflecting, you know, the the sun and like the white white house with with blue uh, windows. All right. Yeah, for example. But also the main point is that all the wall is, are, are are white, you know, to mm -hmm. to reflect better the the sun, mm -hmm. you know, like that. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. it's it's uh, it's, it's not too inside. warm. Yeah, it's cooler yeah. inside. Yeah. And you have now the the same in black. The the guy is crazy. He he painted in black. If that is legal, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, yeah, you're right. It will change the quality of uh, the life. Unless I think uh, I know if this is not um, you know uh, overrated this color. I know that for example we have a lot of white cars here in the south of France, right? Because the white car is supposedly reflecting yeah. the, and I I think I saw even uh, on TV, you know, uh, they were measuring this, and yes, there is, but the difference is really small. But white there is, shoes, uh, white shoes are so impractical. It will they will not last long. I'm wearing mm. white shoes all the time. <laughs> because I know yeah. what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I, I saw. I don't know if it's uh, um, as you say, it's, it's overrated. But I saw on Twitter, you know, there was a guy with, um, I would say, a loop, uh, like you know, you know. Um, I don't know the English. A magnifying but... glass. A magnifying yeah, glass. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, magnifying glass. And he wear he he have a inflated uh, balloon, 
uh, not not mm-hmm. yeah you know you know what I mean for kids you yeah, know? yeah 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 and and he put the sun like this with the magnificent glass and he have different color of balloons ah, and okay okay he, he, he did it with you know lights and he, he do nothing and then he do with different colors you know and it explodes with red mm-hmm. and it explodes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very very quickly with black balloon. So know? the darker, yeah, the darker the color, the quicker it uh, it gets damaged. Or, yeah, exactly, or, yeah. exactly. But anyway, I don't know. Yeah, if uh, it's so. Wait uh, a second. Just the final. The, so the final conclusion is color part of quality. Sometimes. I would say that quality, in fact, is it is depending of the the person who assess assess it. Or you know who measuring it? It's it won't be the same for everybody. But that 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 uh, creates a huge challenge for the industry, because you know if you want to uh, produce something of high quality, what is the quality if if everybody has a different you know definition of this? Yeah, so you have but... to standardize. And you yeah. still didn't answer both of you my question about the apple. You know the the ugly but natural or the beautiful. But kind of, you know. Uh, no, but it's very me, easy. You're supposed to eat it. So you assess what? quality. And of course, you choose the ugly but healthy. Yes. And this is yeah. of higher quality. It has higher quality. This apple is higher quality. Yeah. Except yes. that it looks less attractive. Exactly. Yes. All right. Right. Uh, guys, I think, uh, Masha, I think maybe it's time to wrap up, you know, and I don't know, uh, we've already spent one hour, you know, uh, blabbing here. <laughs> Chin uh, Boris, thanks a lot for all the insights. It's fantastic, you know, it's fantastic what you did uh, with, you know, uh, the reflections about quality. What is it and and where does it come from and, and the relation uh, also between condition and quality. It's great. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us here. Thank, thanks for the invitation. It was a pleasure. Really thank appreciate. Mm. All okay. Right, great. Uh, and thank you, everyone Masa? else. If everyone is listening, we never know. <laughs> Nobody's listening. Leave us a voicemail, guys. <laughs> or a comment, or write us a letter, or I don't know, just come to France and knock on Yendrik's door, whatever. <laughs> Everything will exactly. work. You can't come to Kiev, sorry, but one day maybe. <laughs> okay. One day maybe, yeah. So this was another episode of the Thinking Out Loud podcast. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.